Welcome to TryCareForYou.com. In this video, you will learn how to navigate inside the Secure Portal dashboard. To access your Secure Portal dashboard, you will need to be logged in. To log in, type your username and password in the login box shown on screen and then select the Login button. This will allow you to have access to all of the secure sections, including the dashboard. Registered admins will be prompted with our Go Paperless pop-up window. Here they will be able to change the paperless preference for one or all of the locations for which they are an admin. Once the preferences have been made, the admin will need to select Set Preferences to save the changes. Please be aware that you will always have the option to print any documents you might need a hard copy of from the website, so we encourage you to go paperless today. You have reached the Secure Portal dashboard. Here you will see a list of all the recent payments that have been made for one or all of your locations. To see a list of all the claims related to one specific payment, all you have to do is select Related Claims. Once selected, you will see a list of all the claims related to the payment. Let's go back to the dashboard. On the right-hand side of the page, you will see an Attention Items box. The first Attention Item, labeled Removed Claims, are claims that might need additional information from either the provider or beneficiary so that we can finish processing your claim. If you select the Removed Claims link, you will be directed to the list of removed claims. In addition, registered administrators will see options for administering locations and users on the web portal including location requests awaiting approval, pending location requests, and pending user invites. If there are no removed claims and no pending administration requests, the Attention Items box will be empty. The Secure Portal dashboard allows you to check patient eligibility. All you have to do is enter the requested information and select Search. We have reached the end of this Secure Portal dashboard tutorial. We hope the information we provided was helpful. Have a great day.